Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to an Endian UTM firewall device for the first time. Now, I have an Endian UTM Mini firewall appliance right here. And shipped with the appliance is the getting started guide, which you're going to need. Also, shipped with the appliance is a crossover cable for connecting directly from your PC or laptop Ethernet port to the Endian firewall device. Now, I've got the Indian firewall device, and I've plugged the power adapter in, so we have power, and I've connected from my laptop to port 1 on the Indian firewall device. Now, for connecting to the device by the web browser or graphical user interface, you need to connect to the green zone, and the green zone is located on port 1 on all Indian hardware appliances. So the ports are labeled here, so it's pretty easy to locate which one is port number one. Now, there's two methods of setting up and managing the Indian firewall device. There's the web browser-based graphical user interface, and there's also the command line interface. Now, for the command line interface, you have two options. You can secure shell into the device using a terminal emulation program like PuTTY, or also using a program like PuTTY, you can use a console serial cable which comes shipped with the Indian firewall device that connects to a COM port on your computer or laptop to the console port on the Indian firewall device. And this is also used for managing the device. And you can get a complete command line interface also through this serial console connection. So I'll take this console cable and plug it into my laptop. And then the other end is an RJ45 cable end connector that goes into my console port. And so now I have two connections to the Indian firewall device. I've got a crossover cable directly from the laptop to port one, and I've got a serial console cable connected into the console port. Now, what if you don't have an Indian hardware, but you're bringing your own hardware to the table, and you've purchased the Indian software appliance, the operating system from Indian, and you're intending to install it on your own hardware. So I've got the software here on a disk, and I've got a PC with two network interface cards, and I'm going to install the Indian software onto the device. Well, to manage the device and set it up for the first time, you're also going to need to connect from your PC or laptop directly into your hardware. Now to do this, you can take this crossover cable and connect directly into the NIC on the hardware, or what you can do is you can use a switch or a hub and a couple of straight through ethernet cables as an intermediary device between your computer and laptop and the Indian hardware device or your own PC hardware. All right, so now that we've got a connection from my laptop to the Indian firewall device, let's go about setting it up for the first time. Now to do this, I'm going to need to configure the network interface card, my Ethernet port, on my laptop and give it the proper IP address so I can communicate with the Indian firewall device. To set up the Indian firewall device and manage it, we need to connect to it through the green zone. And the green zone is located by default on switch port 1, which just happens to be the Ethernet switch port that we're connected to. Now, we need to know what is the IP address of the Indian firewall device if we're going to communicate with it. Now, the default IP address that it has is 192.168.0.15 with a slash 24 subnet mask. Now, that's the default IP address of the Indian firewall device. This is also known as the green zone or the local area network. So, for us to communicate and contact this device to manage it and set it up, we need to make sure that we have an IP address on the same network. By default, the Indian firewall device is not going to hand us an IP address until we set it up and turn on DHCP services. So we need to manually configure an IP address on the same network, and that's what we're going to do now. Now, if you're using an Indian software appliance and you're installing the software onto your own hardware, then there is a place in the installation procedure where you can configure your own network range for the green zone. And you can assign an IP address to the Indian device, and it does not necessarily have to be .15.
but since this is a hardware appliance, the default IP address is 192.168.0.15. So let's give ourselves an IP address so we can communicate with this device. To configure our network interface so that we can communicate with the Endian firewall, I'm going to open the control panel, go to Network and Internet, then I'm going to click on Network and Sharing Center. And then from there, I will click on Change Adapter Settings. Now these are my network interfaces, my Ethernet, and also my wireless Ethernet interfaces. Now I have two active network interfaces here. I have my local area connection here and my wireless connection here. And so before I connect to the device, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable my wireless network interface and I want to make sure that my Ethernet connection, my regular local area connection is enabled and it is. And so let's configure this network interface so that we can communicate with the Indian firewall. I'll double click on icon, select properties, scroll down to TCP IP version 4, highlight it, click properties, and now I can manually configure an IP address. So I will click use the following IP address and I'll select 192.168.0. Let's say 20. Now we know that the firewall device is at 15, so I'm just going to give myself the address 20 here. Now the subnet mask, the default will work, and then for the gateway, I'm going to put the router's IP address, which is 192.168.0.15. And I'm also going to set the router, the firewall that is, to 192.168.0.15 as well for my DNS server settings. All right, I'll click OK and click Close. And now that I've done that, I should be able to communicate with the device. So I'll go to Start, Command Prompt, and from my command prompt, I'll try to ping the Indian firewall router. So I'll say ping 192.168.0.15. And I'm getting a reply from the device 192.168.0.15. Four echoes sent, four received. So that was perfect. We were able to communicate with the Indian firewall. I'll close the command prompt. And so now I'm going to open up a web browser and I'll put the IP address of the Indian firewall in the URL address bar here, 192.168.0.15, hit enter, and I should be redirected to the secure page for the Indian firewall device at https colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.0.15 colon port 10443. Notice that we're met with a message here, this connection is untrusted. This is the security certificate, and it's a security certificate coming from the Indian firewall device. And what should I do? Well, definitely, I understand the risks. We do trust this device, right? It has its own security certificate, so this is nothing to worry about. I just click, I understand the risks, add an exception, confirm the security exception, and connect to the device. You can see now that I'm met with the Endian setup initial screen, welcome to the Endian firewall, and now it's time to go through the initial dialogue of setting up the Endian firewall.